Hi everyone, for today's video I want to show you how I created this Style Nanda model inspired makeup look. I've always admired their makeup looks and wanted to try it out for myself. If you want to learn how I created this makeup look, then just keep on watching. I'm starting off with primer for my face and my eyelids. I love this face primer because it keeps my face looking dewy and glowy, which is perfect for this look. Next, I'm using my favorite cushion from VT Cosmetics and just patting it onto my face. For the spots that need extra coverage, I'm using my Up Hue Concealer and applying it with my fingertips. For my under eyes, I'm just going to apply straight from the Dofa applicator. I'm using the cushion from the VT Cosmetics Compact to help blend it out. Next, I'm setting my face with some spray and powder. For eyebrows, I'm trying to do more of a natural arch and less of the straight brow that I usually do. I've noticed the Style Nanda models have a thinner brow as well, but I ended up destroying mine a little bit thicker. Moving on to the eyes, I'm actually going to start with the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm using the shade Golden Ochre as my base and applying it all over the lid. Next, I'm taking the shade Raw Sienna and using it to define my eye socket. Now I'm taking a deep red hue called Venetian Red and just applying it to the outer corners of my eyes and the inner corner of my eyes. I'm using the shade Cypress Umber to darken the outer corners of the eyes and to give it a more sultry look. For the center of the eyes, I'm actually going to take a glitter primer and apply it carefully over the area. To get that beautiful shimmer, I'm going to use my 3CE Overtake palette. I'm taking this shimmery orange color from the palette on my finger and applying it over the center of my eyes. Then I'm actually going to add another layer of glitter. I'm using this one from NYX. This glitter is a little bit thicker and chunkier, so it will add some really nice flex and dimension to the eye look. Moving to the lower lash line, I'm going to take the color Raw Sienna again and just apply it all over. Now I'm taking the Venetian Red color again and also applying it on the lower lash line, but this time I'm bringing it closer to the waterline. I'm taking the brown shade again and also applying it to the lower lash line, but this time only in the outer half of the eyes. For eyeliner, I'm using a dark brown liner to draw a very thin winged line. Now I'm just taking a little bit of concealer and just cleaning the under eye area of any fallout. I'm also using it to help define the shape of my eye. Use mascara to help define your lower lashes. I'm taking the shimmery orange color from the 3CE palette again on a really tiny brush and just applying it to the center of the lower lash line. For lashes, we want to go with something that has a really natural look, so I'm using these ones from KISS. Kiss, kiss my 
Now that we're done with the eyes, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. I'm going to contour my nose with this Avon contour stick. To contour the rest of my face, I'm actually going to use this powder. For blush, I'm using a matte peachy color. Next, I'm using this rose gold highlighter and applying it to the high points of my face. The Style Nanda models have very glowy, dewy skin, so I'm applying more highlighter than I usually would. Lastly, for a lip color, I'm using my favorite from 3CE. It has a peachy nude color. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and learning how to recreate a Style Nanda model makeup look. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye!